You know, there's something about gaming convention question and answer panels. These places are fertile grounds for creating legendary memes for some reason. Is this uh, an out of season April Fool's joke? Uh, no. And in 2013, one of these legendary Q&A panel memes was born at Minecon. It happened after a young man going by the alias SuperKai64 approached the running a Minecraft server panel and asked this question. I was wondering, um, what's the recommended amount of dedicated wham I should have to the server? I'm sorry, could you please repeat your question? Um, dedicated wham to a server. Dedotated Wham, yep. Super Kai's botched pronunciation of Dedicated Ram became the standout moment of that year's Minecon event. Unsurprisingly, the clip went viral online and Super Kai became a living meme by the time this was all over with. Many of you are likely familiar with the Dedotated Wham clip, but most of you are probably not familiar with the entire Super Kai 64 story as the whole thing is pretty difficult to piece together if you don't know where to look. Today we're going to be taking a look at the entire Super Kai tale. From his online beginnings to becoming a living meme and of course his abrupt disappearance in recent years. This is the Super Kai 64 story. Today's video is sponsored by Magic Spoon. Oh yeah, your boy got a cereal sponsor. Magic Spoon satisfies that sweet cereal craving without completely sabotaging your daily nutritional goals. They've got four flavors on deck, cocoa, fruity, frosted, and my personal favorite, peanut butter. It tastes great and actually makes you feel full unlike traditional sweet cereal where the hunger lingers afterwards accompanied with an overwhelming wave of lethargy. It's got zero grams sugar, 13 to 14 grams of protein, and only four net carbs per serving at 100 and 40 calories. You guys remember my boy Slim from the old live stream days? Even he messes with Magic Spoon. This cereal is the real deal. Magic Spoon is so confident in their product, it's backed with a 100% happiness guarantee, so if you don't like it for any reason, they'll refund your money, no questions asked. Click my link below and use code WAVY at checkout to get $5 off your order. What flavor will you try? Shout out to Magic Spoon for sponsoring. Super Kai's first publicly available digital footprints appear on September 26th of 2011 with the creation of his YouTube channel, Kai64Super. He wouldn't post a video at this time, but he did create a playlist, and this playlist consists of one video from another YouTube channel called The Mario Sonic Boys. And I think this playlist actually gives you a little bit of insight into what Super Kai's interests were at this time. Why are you guys doing back here? Pink, pink boo. I told you to go look for that Luigi fellow in the haunted mansion. I couldn't find him anywhere. <clears throat> Jacko, what are you doing here? I told you to go. Did you find him, King Boo? Yes, but I couldn't find that Luigi fellow either. Damn. Yeah, Super Kai was watching kids play make-believe with Nintendo toys. And I think it's pretty obvious that Kai himself was pretty young at this time. A little under a year later, in June of 2012, Super Kai 64 would upload his first video to this channel. That video was entitled, How to Get Two Mews in Pokemon Yellow No Hacking. And while it's difficult to hear because of the quality, Super Kai does actually speak in this video. Hey everybody, I'm going to see how to catch two using Pokemon Yellow, no name shark, that's just a mass bro code, let's remove that though. This video was like any other low quality video game cheat guide that you would have found back in 2012. And Super Kai himself was like any other prepubescent kid with a heavy interest in gaming. He had a Windows 7 taskbar full of gaming emulators and a Pikachu that he nicknamed Fucker. Come on guys, we've all been here at one point, I know you can relate. Simply put, Super Kai 64 was a gamer, a young gamer, and like many other young gamers from the early 2010s, Super Kai 64 would find himself becoming engaged in the world of Minecraft. It's not exactly known when Super Kai first began playing Minecraft, but what's certain is that he really became involved in the game, as he would attend Minecon 2013, which of course is where the famous Dedotated Wham clip was recorded. But before we get into that moment, let's set the stage for Super Kai's public debut. What exactly is Minecon? Um, is there any chance of a collaboration mod pack between Technic and FTB, and how would you feel about that? <laughs> 
MineCon is an annual Minecraft convention that hosts a slew of Minecraft-related events and discussion panels featuring prominent community members. The hot topic at MineCon that year was community servers. In 2013, Minecraft's community-created servers were all the rage. You could become famous within the community for hosting a badass server and even make money doing so. Everyone wanted to be the person to create the next popular game mode. So in an attempt to address the popularity of community servers, MineCon 2013 held a panel called Running a Minecraft Server, which featured several prominent Minecraft community members, all of which ran popular servers, and the most notable of these panel members was Woody's Gamertag, a YouTube gaming community veteran and host of the Painkiller Already podcast. The panel begins with a bit of discussion amongst the hosts, just giving basic details about what you need to do to run a server, the staff that you need to have on board and just taking it seriously and stuff like that. Grassroots marketing is uh, pretty much the key. It's a lot of hustle, it's a lot of time, but you know, basically what you want to do is, you know, you know, use those forums, Minecraft forums. It was mostly unremarkable conversation, but that changed about 35 minutes into the event. After the main discussion amongst panel members ceased, audience members were invited to the front of the stage for a Q&A segment. And this is where it actually gets entertaining, as you have these literal children asking these highly technical computer questions to these 30-something year old server owners, and the juxtaposition and age here is simply fantastic. Okay. Um, instead of, like, how do you make a server like woodycraft.net instead of like 198.24.180. something colon 25568? It's called the domain name system, and it just links an address to a number, and uh, there's plenty of services out there that'll run a DNS. We use, we use Cloudflare. What's the IP address for Woodycraft? <laughs> I'm glad you asked. <laughs> it's woodycraft.net. That's the IP address. After the panel had fielded a slew of questions like the ones you just heard, this is where our boy Super Kai 64 steals the show. Nobody knew they're about to witness probably the biggest moment in Minecraft meme history. Question. Next question on this left side. Um. I was wondering, um, what's the recommended amount of dedicated WAM I should have to server? I'm sorry, could you please repeat your question? Um, dedicated WAM to a server. Oh. If you're oh, running off your per seat. Oh, okay. It's, it's uh, dependent on plugins and players. Yeah, it's a, what it's really depend. this is a technical question you're asking, how much RAM? It's really dependent on how many chunks your players have loaded. If your players are spread out around your world, you might need as much as 12 or 14 gigs of RAM. If you don't have many players in your game, and therefore they can't load too many chunks at one time, then you're okay at somewhere around, you know, one and a half or two like gigabits. It was an uncomfortable moment, to say the least. The recommended amount of dedicated WAM I should have to server. It almost appears as if Kai begins to panic as he realizes the panelists couldn't understand him, and then what appears to be his mom steps in from the side to help him finish the question. It's just overall kind of a weird moment. Fortunately, Woody steps in and fields the question professionally and gave a thoughtful answer to the clearly uncomfortable Super Kai, and the panel would move on smoothly. Super Kai 64's pronunciation hiccup was more or less a slip up in the eyes of people at the event. But for the people at home who are watching it remotely on stream, they definitely caught this moment in fucking 4K and spread it all over the place. The recommended amount of dedicated WAM I should have to server. Kai's dedicated WAM moment was clipped and immediately shared around the internet. And within 24 hours, Super Kai became known as dedicated WAM Kid, and his gaffe was the biggest takeaway from Minecon 2013. He became a living meme. He was being dead serious. Sometime after Minecon, Woody's gamer tag would actually go on PKA and reflect over this event, and he seemed to express concern that people were going to be bullying Super Kai over this. So I was on a panel speaking about running a Minecraft server at Minecon, oh, yeah. and uh, a young guy came up with a speech uh, impediment of some sort, 
And he asked how much dedicated RAM his server needed, but he didn't say it very well. He said, you know, how much dead awaited wham it needs or something like that. And uh, we didn't understand him at first and he repeated it. And then we answered him, you know, kind of respectfully. And, uh, you know, so like 90% of the clip is this kid struggling through his words. And then the last 10% is the panel, including me answering him, you know, or starting to answer him. They cut off us because we're not the funny part. And, um, like, I'm the last guy to make fun of someone for having a speech impediment. Philly D, if you don't know, my kid, my son has one. And, uh, uh, but I, like, somehow unwittingly played a role in this guy who is surely being well, tortured at school. And oh. it's not cool. If I, I'm trying to remember the clip. It's essentially just you and I feel like one of the guy just go wide eyed, right? Yeah. And the kid, he's, um, uh, he's a little heavy, he's a chunky kid mm -hmm. and he, he's wearing in Minecraft when you walk around above your head it has your like in-game name they call it an IGN and he's wearing like a um, like a halo almost that has his name above his head and his mom's wearing a matching one and he's and he has a speech impediment and when you put the whole scene together you know a kid that doesn't look like Johnny Football a kid with a, a speech impediment and a kid wearing a Minecraft name over his head it gets to be a scene that people make fun of. While there were certainly those online leaving mean-spirited comments directed towards Super Kai and people making fun of his speech problem, there was also this massive group that treated him as some sort of legend akin to the BlizzCon redshirt guy. One thing's for certain though, people wanted to hear more from the dedotated Wham Kid. So they began subscribing to his YouTube channel, hoping he would address the newfound interest in his personhood thanks to the dedotated Wham clip going viral. Super Kai would address his newfound YouTube following, but not in a video talking about the dedotated Wham clip. Rather, on November 16th, he posted this video basically flexing this PlayStation 4 that he had gotten a few days after Minecon. And you can see that he's still even wearing the bracelet from the event. Hi, we just got this PS4 from GameStop tonight. It ended up inside this black bag. It has the PlayStation logo on it. PS4, next generation console. The replies in Super Kai's comments section were mostly positive with people just cracking dedicated wham jokes. About a week later, he uploads a part two to this PlayStation unboxing. Okay everybody, this is unboxing part two, Confloors. So as you can see, this is the DualShock 4, it has a touchpad, the PlayStation button that makes this flicker. All the standard, you know, PlayStation buttons, a D-pad. After uploading part two of his PlayStation 4 unboxing, Super Kai actually disappears from his channel for a while, reappearing in the early summer of the next year in 2014. His return video is titled, Wham is Back Announcement, which was basically a short video of him telling his subscribers that he wanted to make Let's Plays and was asking them what they wanted him to play. Okay, everybody, this is Super Kai 64 and I'm back. So what's playing? You can vote for what game I'm gonna what's play inside the description. See you later, whammers. The summer of 2014 was also when Super Kai would first publicly talk about the dedicated wham incident from the year prior. And he did this in a few videos and interviews that are spread across YouTube. Most of these interviews are literally unwatchable due to poor audio quality, but there is one I'd like to talk about. That interview being conducted by Eric the CPU guy. Eric had managed to get in touch with Super Kai via Skype, and in this interview, Super Kai seemed mostly chill about the whole thing and seemed kind of cool with being a living meme. But, okay, um, we're just gonna ask some questions here. So, the first question we have is, how old were you back whenever you asked that question? Oh. Were you, were you at all embarrassed or enraged by the comedy that was made from the speech impediment? Never. You weren't mad at all or anything? Nope. Hey, get out. I was a little at first, but... Yeah. Um, what was your initial reaction? Um, I just couldn't believe that I got that popular on the internet. Oh, uh, how much RAM does your computer have? 22 GB. 22? Yeah, it's an odd number, but I, like... Custom built it. That's a lot. Nice. Uh, uh, were you nervous whenever you asked your question? 
No, just tired. I had like two hours of sleep the night before. Oh yeah, I get that. Um, how long have you played Minecraft for? Where have you been? Since 2012. Do you have a server? No, but I used to run on, on. Before Minecon, I just stopped running it late before Minecon. Oh, yeah. I was thinking about restarting it, but then once the dedicated WAM scene happened, I knew that if I made a server, it would just be flooded with people saying dedicated WAM. Yeah. Um, how much RAM did it have whenever you had it? Well, it was off my old PC. It was just like this laptop before GB, so it only had one. Um, were you surprised that you went so famous as you did? Um, I'm a little surprised. If you could go to Minecon next year, what question would you ask? The same one. What would you recommend for the recommended amount of dedicated RAM to a server? Depends on plugins and players, Dash. What he clapped. <laughs> After his interview run in the early summer, Super Kai would announce a series of ambitious projects on his YouTube channel. Like when he announced he would be live streaming on Twitch. Hey guys, I am live streaming. Check out the description to see where I am. Or the time when he announced he would be making his own video game. Okay, everybody, I'm we seen a game called Plus for Wham. If you want to help out with the development, maybe you want to submit some art or sounds, that'd be great. I'll have a wiki for it inside the description. So yeah, see you guys. This is Superkai64, and I'm out. Unfortunately though, none of these projects would ever really come to fruition. As far as I'm aware, Super Kai only streamed on Twitch a couple of times and that video game doesn't exist. So, <laughs> he is one to make a lot of announcements and like, not actually follow through. On October 21st, Super Kai took to his YouTube channel to announce something yet again, and this time it was a Patreon account. So, okay everybody, this is my Patreon. You don't have to donate to it, I'll still make my content and my live streams. It just, if you do plan to support it, it will just make it so I can like upgrade my computer, get better software, it will just like help me do what I do better. And I'd really appreciate it from you guys. You don't have to, but it's just an option. This video actually got ratioed by dislikes, which I assume was because Kai was pretty notorious for announcing projects and not following through, so it's likely that some in the audience felt that he was undeserving of Patreon funding, and the Patreon itself was a total flop. I mean, I would honestly throw the dude five bucks just for being such a legend from the dedotated Wham! clip, but everybody's entitled to their own opinion, right? The last video on Super Kai 64's channel was actually a Let's Play of Legend of Zelda Link to the Past. Yes, he finally posted a Let's Play to YouTube. No, 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 you got the boomerang. Now I got the boomerang, so I can't see you up at long distance. Just try and attack me now. I can stun you, motherfuckers. Just try and attack me. You ain't got no chance. Unfortunately, though, just as it seemed like Super Kai might actually start creating videos and have a more consistent creative online presence. He disappeared from YouTube shortly after this video was uploaded. And from then on, Super Kai 64 would become scarce. No, not like the guy scarce. He pretty much went missing in action in late 2014. It was an abrupt end to Super Kai 64's YouTube presence and he didn't give any sort of explanation. Maybe he just didn't really enjoy online creation or was just tired of being the dedotated wham kid. There have been many attempts to track down Super Kai 64 in the last few years, all of which have turned up empty handed. The closest anyone has come was Eric the CPU guy, the person who interviewed Kai back in 2014. In recent years, fans of the dedotated Wham meme have asked Eric if he could get into contact with Super Kai again, considering that Eric is one of the few people that know Super Kai's Skype account, he would probably be somebody that maybe had communication with him still. In a recent video, Eric would explain that in order to do this, he would have to recover his old Skype account, which fortunately he was able to do. And in a follow-up video recorded earlier this year, he even makes an attempt at calling Super Kai. So anyways, here is Kai, here is his Skype. I mean, it says last seen days ago. So I think it's just so long that it doesn't even know. I'm probably like four digits. I don't know. Anyways, uh, that is Kai. So <laughs> there's your proof. We're going to message him right quick. Would you be interested in doing a new interview sometime? We did one back in 20. And I have so many people asking to do another one with you. It wasn't confiscated, it was a Skype, but uh, just out of curiosity, see if that happens. I really don't think anyone.
what's going to happen. I don't have sound on, do I? Kai is not online. Yeah. So, yeah, no, this is kind of where we're at a standstill. Uh, if anybody else has any ideas how to get a hold of Kai, then we will do another interview. Otherwise, I think we're at a roadblock, and I really don't think there's anything else we can do. Unfortunately, Eric had no luck with getting in touch with Super Kai on Skype. If you want to check his channel out, the link's in the description. He might have a follow-up video, or maybe Super Kai will respond to him. So, if you want to follow that, definitely check him out. And with that said, unfortunately, the Super Kai 64 story ends in a dead end, and his reasoning for abandoning his online persona will remain a mystery. When you consider that Super Kai's fame was entirely based off of a clip showcasing his childhood speech impediment, I find it reasonable to speculate that maybe being defined by that singular awkward moment could get tiresome after a while. Sure, he seemed mostly chill about being known as the dedotated Wham Kid, but who really knows if beneath the surface the memes and jokes made about him got under his skin. Regardless, Super Kai 64 will remain a legend amongst fans of Minecraft, and there are many anticipating his return. Will that ever happen? I reckon we'll just have to wait and see. And that, my friends, was the Super Kai 64 slash Dedotated Wham Kid story. Hope you guys enjoyed this one. Let me know what you thought about it and let me know who or what you want me to talk about next. I want to give a major shout out to my patrons. I appreciate you guys. Wavy Web Surf out. Peace.